What Are You Doing in My Bed? by David Bedford. Kip the kitten had nowhere to sleep on a dark and cold winter's night, so he crept through a door and curled up warm and snug in somebody's bed. Then out of the dark, Kip heard whispers and hisses and soft feet padding through the night. Bright green eyes peered in through the window and suddenly one, two, three, four, five, six cats came banging through the cat door. They tumbled and skidded and rolled across the floor where they found Kip. What are you doing to our bed? shouted the six angry cats. Your bed, said Kip, but this bed is too small for all of you. You'd never all fit. Never fit, said the cats. Just you watch. One, two, three cats curled up neatly head to tail. Then four, five, six cats piled on top. See, there's no room for you, they said. You'd never fit. Never fit, said Kip. Just you watch. So tottering and teetering, Kip tear carefully climbed up top. I'll sleep up here, he said. Okay, the cats yawned. Oh, but don't fidget or snore. And they all fell asleep in a heap, but suddenly, a big, deep, growly voice said, What are you doing in my bed? Scram! The cats scattered around the room, but they only found hard, cold places to sleep. Harry the dog was comfy in his bed, and soon he began to snore. But then an icy wind whistled in through the cat door, and Harry awoke with a shiver. Kip whispered, Follow me, and he quickly led six cold cats across the floor to the cozy bed. We'll keep you warm, said Kip. You'll never all fit, chattered Harry. Never fit, said Kip. Just you watch. Kip and Harry snored right through the night under their warm blanket of cats, and they all fit Perfectly. The end.